G'day all, Simon here again. Um, I've just got a quick update video um, down in the media room or the garage as it's officially known. I prefer media room, media library. And um, after I've done this update I'm going to do a quick uh, overview of everything. Uh, it's grown, it's changed and I just want to take you for a quick walkthrough. Alright, it's a mixed bag of things this time. Some VHS, some DVDs, some Blu-rays. Um, so I'll just get started on the tapes first. This is Moontrap, which is a Japanese VHS, obviously. Uh, this is a um, 80s or maybe early 90s uh, sci-fi action uh, starring uh, Walter Cohen from uh, Star Trek. But more importantly, it's got Bruce Campbell in it. And this is another one of his movies that doesn't have a DVD yet. Um, Mind Warp would be another one. Um, he did those two quite close to each other, I think. And um, I've seen it before, and it's it's pretty decent. Um, and the Japanese tape just happened to show up, so uh, I don't think it's widescreen or anything, but um, it's a cool cover. And I like Japanese tape, so moon trap. This one turned up today. KTEL, Mad Mission, um, another action film for the collection. And I get a load of this action plus. Now that's a genre, and they're pretty much right. I mean, you got hang gliders motorcycles bursting out of bloody windows, you got cars exploding, uh, guy with a shotgun, helicopters, that's a mad mission, that's mad action. Great screenshots there. So looking forward to seeing that one. And have another KTEL. Similar lines, the stabilizer on cell. Uh, I think this was a Thai or Indonesian movie, I uh, can't remember top of my head. Um, another one, I, I think there's a DVD by Troma, um, and I think it's uh, got some encoding errors towards the end, I think I was reading. And the tape is the best way to go, so um, stabilizer, looks quite mad, explosions. Girls with guns, guys with guns, it's, yeah, it's what you want. Leathernecks, uh, this is an uh, Italian uh, action movie filmed in the Philippines. I say that sentence quite a lot, don't I? Um, this one's got uh, Richard Hatch in it and um, doesn't have a DVD release again. Uh, there's a Japanese tape that's widescreen, this one's full screen, but um, the quality's awesome. It's on CBL, Australian tape. Don't think it had ever been watched before, so uh, really happy to have that. Good quality. Uh, Salvo's pickup, Lord of Illusions, uh, Clive Barker. I think I talked about this not so long ago, I, I can't remember. Uh, something I wanted to revisit, and then this was there, and I watched it on the weekend, and um, I liked it a lot more than I did when I saw it at the cinema when I was 16 and stupid. Um, it's actually quite a good movie, uh, and I'll probably pick up the widescreen DVD at some point. Chicken Park, another 50 cent pickup. Um, I know Paul Buckaroo Banzai uh, showed off the Australian DVD of this, uh, some kind of... Um, Horror comedy, uh, Jurassic Park ripoff, perhaps less on the horror, but uh, with killer chickens. So, uh, yep, that looks pretty good. But the best Vinny's pickup was definitely this one, The Abyss on CBS Fox. But get a load of that case. It's got a Velcro uh, sides open up, which are pretty cool. And then the whole thing opens from the top. Uh, that's pretty cool, really. Big fan of the movie. Um, got the DVD. I don't think there's a Blu-ray yet. Won't be f too far off, I'm sure. But uh, for f another 50 cents, and that is an awesome tape. Uh, onto the discs now. Uh, we've got um, the Blu-ray of Brazil, um, which I got in the trade quite cheap. This is a new release. Uh, this is the Region A disc, but I think it's all region. Um, this is a great great uh, post-apocalyptic uh, dark comedy from um, Terry Gilliam Terry Gilliam, and has Michael Palin in it both from the Monty Python crew um, yeah this didn't do well at the cinema when it came out but um, it's definitely got a well-deserved cult following these days uh, Brazil everyone knows that one a prize from the cult lab forums the new blu-ray of Akira been eons since I've seen this so uh, it's gonna be good to check out uh, this slice of anime in high def. Some shitty action. LA Crackdown 1, LA Crackdown 2. $1 each they were, and they're stuffed on the same disc, so 
quality is going to be shite, but um, I'm sure the movies will be too. This was pretty good. Uh, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s uh, one of his newest direct-to-DVD action films, The Hitler. Quite enjoyed this. There's a review on my site. Um, I rented it back in the day, I think, and uh, then I've uh, picked this up quite cheap um, from JB. It's gone down to twelve ninety eight, which is uh, about what I'll pay for a direct-to-DVD action movie, really. Um, so, yep, that's the hit list. Worth checking out. Maniac Cop 2. Uh, the old uh, Magnum Pacific release. Still don't think there's a widescreen DVD of this one. This is full screen. Um, I know it was aired on... Uh, American TV in high def and widescreen, but that has yet to surface on DVD. Um, but now I've got all three, so I'm at least happy about that. Uh, Brain Dead, this was on Umbrella, now it's on uh, Flashback and goes for $2. So I was going to argue with that. $2 retail for this one. Bill Pullman, Bill Paxton, uh, another comedy, dark comedy that I've not seen, with horror themes apparently. Hired to Kill from the Nico Mess. Dorakis collection. I'm pretty shit at saying uh, surnames like that. Um, yeah, this is going to be awesome. Um, I actually have another copy of this floating around, but this cover, this cover, oh, I had to get it. Two bucks. Um, yeah, top action and um, yeah, Brian Thompson, um, who I originally only knew from um, his uh, stint in the X Files as um, the main. Uh, shape-shifting alien guy uh, but of course he was the bad guy in Cobra which is where everyone else knows him from oh this is going to be garbage Street Racer this is another uh, Asylum picture this one would be a mockbuster of um, Fast and the Furious I assume two bucks I want my money back already Blood Money um, don't know anything about this it's just a new um, release on RAM who uh, do a lot of the $2 DVDs around here, and it's got uh, Tracy Lords, and she does a lot of shitty action, so hey, blood money. Cyber Zone. Oh, what a great cover. Mark Singer and the awesome Matthias Hughes. Um, so this is going to be some kind of cyborg action. Uh, that, that sells me right there, cyborg action. Ice Spiders. Tip. Uh, killer Giant Spiders with Vanessa Williams. <laughs> sci-fi channel movie all these were two dollars so awesome and finally uh, big game with C Thomas Howell the hunt is on um, some kind of revenge eye for an eye action movie thriller thing uh, from a couple of years ago that's a pretty gritty looking uh, cover so uh, yeah big game two bucks just a quick addition guys these turn up this afternoon Rec and Rec 2 on uh, Region B UK Blu-ray. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the first one and I haven't seen the second one. Um, and these were both um, five pounds, uh, or five pounds each, I should say, which is uh, just bargain price. Um, not too sure of any features or anything like that. Not too fast, but um, yeah, in the original Spanish language. And lastly, New Still Book of Hannah, which is a brand new action thriller starring Kate Blanchett and um, uh, Narek Banner. Don't know much about it except uh, the general plot is uh, this girl, age of 16, brought up by her father, I'm presuming maybe Eric Banner, uh, to be an assassin. So um, the actress, I guess, changes at some point from her to Kate Blanchett and um, mystery and mayhem ensue. So this looks like a good one, and I think uh, one that I can watch with the missus. So yep, yeah, Rec, Rec 2 and Hannah. See you all later.